In this video, we're going to look at uh, some graphs that are produced from quadratic functions. First thing we'll look at here is that we've uh, seen on the previous slide that uh, y equals x squared, we get a parabola. And this is basically going to be our simplest one, and it's going to be our reference point throughout the rest of this video. So the vertex of a parabola is going to appear either at the top or the bottom. It's going to be max minimum, and it's going to depend on which way our parabola opens. Our axis of symmetry is simply going to be a line that cuts our parabola in half, leaving mirrored images on both sides. So let's look at a couple of ways that parabolas can be different. So the first way is they can open up or they can open down. Parabolas that open up have positive values in front of the x term there, like that would be considered a 1, 1x one squared. And parabolas that open the downward direction have a negative value in front of the x squared term. Second way they can be different is simply just moving around and having different axis of symmetry or different vertexes. We'll get into that here. And the last way they can differ is some can be narrow and some can be wide. So we've got a couple of examples here. When our x value is, or sorry, when our number in front of the x value is less than one, like uh, 0.2, we get a nice wide parabola. And when values are uh, greater than one, we get uh, parabola values that are narrow. And you can have the exact same thing going on, except you can have them pointing downward, and the downward part would be that negative in front. So some graphs. So uh, if you're going to get a parabola, probably the equation is going to look a little something like that. And the A, B, and C are going to do different things. They're going to move the graph around, make it narrow or wider, etc. So let's look at a few graphs here. So we've got uh, a few that are going to open up and a few that are going to open down. Over here, we've got these two graphs. You can see that because there's a positive value in front of the x squared term, that we've got parabolas that open up. And over here, we've got a negative value in front of our x squared term, so we're gonna have a parabola that opens down. And as mentioned on a previous slide, if our values in front of a, or sorry, if our values in front of x squared are greater than one, we get a narrow parabola. And we've got a couple of narrow parabolas in blue here. And if that value is less than one, then we get a parabola that opens up wider, and that would be the value or the graphs in red. Okay, so let's look at a couple of graphs of quadratic functions here, and we're going to have a reference point of y equals x squared. So what happens when we add this plus three to our, our uh, quadratic? What does it do? Well, it happens to vertically shift things up. So you'll notice here on our graph that we've got uh, a red parabola, and that represents y equals x squared plus 3. And you'll notice that it's gone up 1, 2, and 3 points. Our vertex has shifted up. What? So we'll look at another function here. And this time we're, we've got a negative value, negative 3. And all that's going to do is shift our graph down. So original y equals x squared graph probably looked a little something like that. And then the negative 3 shifts our vertex down, and there's our vertex point.